Welcome to EnviroTube. Today we're visiting Joity. She's got everything you could think of that you would want in a suburban backyard. One of the many interesting things about Joity's yard is she's got some stingless native bees. This particular hive has a honey collector on it. So we're not sure if it's ready to be harvested, but we're going to give it a red hot go. Here's the hive. Typically it takes the bees two years to fill up the honey container. They've had 18 months, so it's a bit of a stretch. Will there be enough honey in there to bother harvesting or not? There's only one way to find out. We're going to do it. When you harvest the honey from a hive like this, you don't need much. You need one of these little prickers. Now these prickers, they're about uh, 10, 11 centimetres long and super sharp. How do I know they're super sharp? I put my hand in a box with some. They're super sharp. So we have them, we have a, a mesh strainer and then a plastic container to actually have the honey drain into. So we have the mesh strainer, we have the honey collector, that's it. I think we'll put it here. So I think it's time for Joyty to come and join us and let's start harvesting this honey. Come on Joyty. <laughs> so I'm going to just open this top part. See this honey that's uh, loose here? We just don't want that. So we're going to tip it upside down and this is the first draining. These are all honey pots. There they are. But they've been broken open so you, what you see glistening is actually honey. It's not water, it's honey. Joy teacher's gone to get a knife. We have a knife. All I'm going to do is just slice these honey capsules off. The honey is in the third box. So this is like where we're expecting to see the honey. So now I have to just take this off. Okay, so now open it. So this is the honey. As you can sort of see, these are the honey pots and it's not full. If it was ready to be harvested, fully ready to be harvested, all of these things will be full, but that doesn't matter because we're going to harvest anyway. Nothing's going to stop us. So, Joyty, can you remove that? Turn it upside down and just put it anywhere. Now, now we use the prickers. I want you to prick all of these. Fast. And then just turn it upside down and let the honey drain out. Like this. Okay, so now we have some structure. This is what they hang the honey pots off. Now when I look in here, it's almost all honey. There's almost no pollen. And the reason I say there's no pollen, you can actually see the pollen. It looks like you would expect pollen to look like. So this is almost all honey. So we're just going to prick all of these. And in fact, I might join in the pricking frenzy. The reason we're doing pricking rather than squeezing and everything is we want them just to repair and put them back. And we don't want to kill any bees. We just temporarily remove this one. And we'll just put that there. And then we're just going to literally turn this one upside down. Wow, this harvesting is hard work. If Isaac Newton had had a beehive instead of an apple tree, I predict that the theory of gravity would have been deducted by this. Below here is the hive, the real hive. It's got the eggs and everything. What I'll do is I'll actually open it up so you can see the hive in action, just for EnviroTube viewers, so you can actually see what's happening in the hive. Joyty, what a backyard. The uh, garden filled with exciting things and the bees. How good are the bees? I hope you enjoyed this EnviroTube. 